A pilot is fighting for her life after her stunt plane crashed in St. Augustine. It happened near a runway at the Northeast Regional Airport. That was about 5 o'clock this afternoon. What caused the plane to go down is still under investigation. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joining us live at the airport with more details on what happened. Eric? Yes, Joy, and before we get to those details, I want to clarify to our viewers that the female pilot that was involved in that crash and that was uh, sent to the hospital in critical condition is not the legendary stunt pilot, Patty Wagstaff. I have been in contact with Patty tonight. Uh, she is at home. She's doing fine. She doesn't know anything about the crash except for what has been reported uh, on television and also on the web. Now, getting back to the details about this crash. Now, the plane that crashed has been described as an extra 300 stunt plane. I'm going to step out of the way here just so my photographer can pan the camera. Although it's too dark out to see uh, the crash site, uh, it's in a marsh area just beyond the end of that runway. Florida Highway Patrol says shortly before 5 p.m. Wednesday, a female pilot was critically injured when her single-seater extra 300 stunt plane crashed into a marsh area just beyond runway 13. What caused the crash is still under investigation, but News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth was able to use flight tracking data to not only identify the type of plane that crashed and who owns it, but also the plane's location, speed, and altitude just moments before the crash. It approached from the west, descending made a hard right turn and flew parallel to runway 13 at approximately 800 feet and then for inexplicable reasons dove to the ground at the end of the runway into the marsh at a relatively high rate of speed. The extra 300 stunt plane is made in Germany. It's a fast, lightweight aircraft that is strong enough to handle 10 G-forces. This is the two-seater version used by the Air National Guard stunt team. I had the opportunity to experience the abilities of this plane firsthand during an air show several years ago. Booth says the extra 300 is built for aerobatics. It's a very strong airframe made of composite materials, graphite fiber. It can withstand higher G-forces than the pilot flying it can. So it's unlikely there was any type of airframe failure. Now, it's worth pointing out again that we don't know the exact cause of uh, the plane crash. However, Booth says there are a lot of migratory birds in this area this time of year. So it would not be impossible uh, for there to be a bird strike against the plane's propeller. Of course, again, uh, all of this is still under investigation. Reporting live in St. John's County, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, thank you.